morning. Today is um, the third day of May, and this is another edition of Couples Devotional from KHC. And our topic today is how to be generous to your wife. I want to talk today on a subject that every husband has to work on to make his wife happier. It has to do with being generous to your wife. Even though it addresses both the husband and the wife, I want to lay more emphasis on the husband being generous to his wife. The wife, by nature, is a receiver. The woman is created to be loved and showered attention and affection on. She's a multiplier by nature. That's why you give a woman a house and she gives you back a home. You give her ingredients, she gives you a meal. That's why you give her a sperm, she gives you a child after nine months. Never give your wife trouble. Because if you do, she will multiply it before giving it back to you. Make your wife happy and she will give you peace. She will go to any length to make sure you are happy. Be creative in making her happy. You just do something and she will be more creative to multiply it back to you. You just take the initiative and leave the rest. The problem is that guys are busy looking out for more important things, in quotes, while they forget this is the important thing. Go out of your way every once in a while to make her happy. Be generous to her. It is true, you don't have a million yet, but what of the hundreds you have? Treat your wife with honor and she will honor you back in multiple folds. Let it be in your heart to do, and God that gives seed to the sower and bread to the eater will, pray, will place it in your hands. Don't just let it be in your heart. Make an attempt. Know the price. Let it be a faith project and see how your heaven will be opened. Let the thoughts of your wife and the pleasure of making her happy, showering her with nice things, fill your heart. Never let it cross your mind that you want to do your wife harm or evil. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Meditation for the day is taken from Proverbs 4, verses 5 to 6, the KJV. It says, Get wisdom. Get understanding, forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love that I shall keep thee. Number one, Father, bless my marriage. Number two, pray for your spouse. And number three, Father, supply all our needs according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Confession for the day. God so loved the world that he gave. I love my spouse, so I give to him or her. I appreciate and value I appreciate and celebrate my spouse. I value my spouse. I will speak his or her love language. I have more than enough. I receive creative ideas to tantalize my spouse. I receive fresh wine in my marriage. My marriage is blessed. Praise the Lord. Thank you for watching and hope to see you tomorrow morning. Same time, same place. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Bye. We'd like you to partner with us in Cases in Us Club. Uh, to do so, kindly use the banking information you see on the screen. And for international gifts, please navigate to the URL you see on the screen at casesandus.com slash give. God bless you as you do so. This devotional is taken from our books for single marriage and these books are available on Amazon and on Kata Books. In order to access the books, kindly navigate to the URL you see on the screen at kissesandlogs.com slash books. If you live in the city of Ibada, we'd like you to watch with us at Shouts of Grace Center. It's at Joker Plaza beside Trans Amusement Park, Odita, UI Road in the city of Ibad. On Sundays, we have two services by 7.30 and 9 o'clock and by Wednesdays, 6 p.m. It will be our pleasure to have you. Kindly follow us on Cases and Us Club at casesandus.com. You'll have a lot of resources for your soul.